Hey guys, so if you're wondering how to ask for reviews, this is the Starloop way to get online reviews. All right, asking somebody, can you leave me an online review is like asking somebody, do these jeans make my butt look big? It's a loaded question. If you're wondering how to ask for reviews, it's simple. Whether you're after a Google, Yelp, or Facebook review, don't ask for a review. Everyone else is saying the opposite, so yeah, it seems counterintuitive. But close your eyes and imagine unicorns. Good, good. Now imagine there was a way of getting hundreds of online reviews without asking. Now breathe out and discover that one of those things is real. We're going to break down why asking for reviews sucks and also reveal a superior approach to getting reviews inspired by Harvard Business School and disruptor extraordinaire Elon Musk. Here's what we've learned, guys. Your reviews matter. They matter big time. Your online reviews influence whether someone will connect with you first or give your arch rival, Johnny Underpants, a call because he's got 255 more reviews than you do on Google, Yelp, and Facebook. If you care about A, winning new business from the internet, and B, not bleeding business to your competitors, then you need to be paying attention to what's happening with your online reputation and how that compares to the reputation of your direct competition. Because you, baby, you're in a five-star arms race. That's right. Whether you like it or not, you're in a five-star arms race, and you need to know what the score is right now. Think about it from the perspective of consumers. The most important equation we humans try to resolve before we transact is, can I trust X? What's X, you ask? X is everything from a hotel in Cancun to an emergency plumber. X is a local florist, a day spa, an injury lawyer, and if you're in business, X is you, baby. Trust is the first factor in determining where the money changes owners. And at the local business level, your reputation is your brand. And online reviews provide an at-a-glance barometer of how trustworthy the marketplace says you are. Let's be clear, you're not going to increase your revenues by telling the marketplace how awesome you are. It's what the marketplace is saying about you that matters most. People have less and less time to vet anything or anyone these days, so online reviews let us expedite our buying choices. You want people to quickly decide to spend money with you, right? Right. So if you want to win new business and ethically steal market share, then you need online reviews, as many as possible. You need a high rating, usually out of five stars. Most importantly, you need a higher rating and more reviews than your competition. If you can accomplish this, then it's game, set, and match to you, and you'll hear that little cha-ching sound over and over again. How to ask for reviews? Don't. If you Google up how to ask for reviews, you're going to get the usual suspects showing up, giving you old school advice, encouraging you to outright ask for reviews. At first, it sounds like a no-brainer. It sounds so easy, but the advice is the same lame stuff. It's just worded slightly differently, such as, if you want online reviews and all you got to say is, hey, can you leave us a Google review? Would you leave us a Yelp review? Can you give us a review on Facebook? That kind of stuff. Look, for more, most business types, this tired approach to asking for online reviews is about as awkward as Eugene asking his date out to the prom. It's ineffective, it's boring, and it's tired. Our members here at Starloop, we're using a special script that converts like crazy, but let's take a look at why we've moved away from this old method of asking outright for online reviews. Whether you're seeking to build Google, Yelp, Facebook reviews, think what it's like being your customer and being asked, hey, can you leave us a Yelp review? As soon as you've finished uttering that lame string of words, she knows what you're fishing for, a five-star review, and that's awkward. Jane wasn't expecting her visit to your premises today to involve being asked a loaded question. I want to introduce you to something called The Power of Meaningful Connections. And nope, this isn't Tony Robbins' next book. Look, there are exceptions to every rule, and the most critical factor in whether you should ask outright for an online review is whether you have a meaningful connection or not. Here are some professions where asking outright for a review is actually A-OK. -okay. Keep in mind, you still need to mind-numbingly chase people up to get the review, but saving time with automation, that's for another post. 
All right, here are the professions we're asking outright for a review is okay. Real estate agent, lawyers, midwives, custom home builders, architects, that kind of thing. These types of professions, they have a meaningful connection by the time the transaction is complete. Conversely, here's a whole bunch of everyday transactions where there is no such meaningful connection, not even close. Whether you're buying coffee, breakfast, lunch or dinner, buying groceries, hiring any kind of contractor to fix your stuff, like an electrician, plumber, etc. Doing any kind of fitness class, any profession that doesn't spend significant time with the customers. This list is a million deep for these kinds of shallow interactions. And unlike the real estate agent above, these relatively quick transactions don't have any real depth of meaning or connection between you and the service providers. With little to no meaningful connection or any kind of accurate measure of how the customers feel, asking for a review is again awkward at best and downright inappropriate at worst. Asking for a review in these situations often comes across sleazy and it's not recommended for most local businesses looking to build a genuine money-making online reputation. Now, feedback is better, says us and Elon Musk. Like we said before, real estate agents and any other professions who have a meaningful connection, they get a pass. They can ask for online reviews. The rest of us need to be engaging our customers not for reviews, but for feedback. Yeah, feedback. Go with me here. When you ask someone for feedback, you're engaging them from a position that says, we'd love to know what you think. It starts the engagement from a neutral position that isn't some kind of cheesy wink, wink, nudge, nudge for a five-star review. Now, are you smarter than Elon Musk? Ah, I don't think so. Look, Elon considers actively seeking customer feedback as one of the most valuable keys to his success. Getting customer feedback isn't something he might get around to one day. It's a priority all the freaking time. Because without customer feedback, he's shooting in the dark. And entrepreneurs like Elon, people who like to win, they don't take low percentage shots in the dark if they don't have to. Now, Elon is busy disrupting the entire human race, and if he says that engaging for feedback is a core part of his strategy, then we're getting on that train too. We're doing it because Elon does it, because it's a smart thing to do, and unlike other things that he does, such as building electric cars and reusable rockets, this is a high-value task we can easily execute. We'll engage for feedback because Elon does it, it's smart, it's far less awkward than asking for a review, it results in valuable insights from those who are unhappy with our services and it gives us the opportunity to improve and or get an online review. More on that later. Lastly, it lets us provide genuinely better service to our clients when we incorporate that feedback into our operations. So by now, I hope you'll agree that online reviews, the voice of the marketplace, is the most powerful way to give yourself a genuine competitive advantage if you know how to ask. Now, turn your feedback into reviews. I hope it's all making sense so far because now that you're asking for feedback rather than reviews, the next step is to be an alchemist and transmute your online feedback into valuable online reviews. Now, there are a number of ways to do this. Some methods are shady, some methods are ethical. But ideally, you want to automatically capture your customer feedback and then Focus that feedback into genuine five-star reviews on Google, Facebook, Yelp, or wherever it's valuable to you. Now, lastly, you want to do both of these things automatically and ethically. Now, all of the above can take a lot of time, so in order to accomplish all of this, you're going to want to explore getting a solution like Starloop in place. This will help you save time and accomplish the ultimate aim of being the highest rated, most reviewed competitor in your marketplace. Remember, it's not about reviews, it's about getting feedback. This is how we get online reviews here, the Starloop way.